Struggling to find vulnerabilities that pay good bounties? You might be missing the key ingredient in your toolkit. Discover the secret weapons of top tier bug bounty hunters, the top crawlers used in the industry. Skipping this video means leaving the money on the table. Dive in with us to discover these powerful crawlers that can skyrocket your bug bounty success starting today. What is the difference between an average hunter and successful hunter? It's the tools that could reveal what others miss. We will be exploring the different tools, how fast they are and the amount of data we can gather. Discovering vulnerabilities faster than ever before, tapping into hidden areas of web applications. This could be a true goldmine. Stay tuned as we deep dive into functionalities of these crawlers. As before, we are back in terminal. I will be using root directories collected from the last video. It's good starting point for the crawlers, but of course, you might want to exclude certain endpoints. Alternatively, you could use host from HTTPX output or any other alive host collecting tool. For this type of output, I would like to filter out once with status code 200 and add to the to crawl.txt file manually. I have collected around 200 lines from both GAO endpoints and HTTPX hosts. This will be pretty good start for different crawlers to test their capabilities. I will also show you how to employ those tools with Axiom. The first tool that I'm going to test is Katana by Project Discovery. As you can see, it has a lot of functionality. My goal here is to test how many endpoints I could collect using different flags and compare them. As you can see, I will be using GS crawling, uh, have some limitations for uh, the crawl duration, as you can see on all of those three different ones. AFFF is basically automatic form fill. Uh, I will also want form extraction. For one of uh, the tools I will be using headless browser and the different strategies. So let's try to run them piece by piece and measuring the runtime by time command and comparing the outputs as well. So actually to my surprise the headless option took uh, like less amount of time to finish but it probably collected less endpoints then those two options, those two options uh, run in one and a half hours almost and collected quite a lot of endpoints from, uh, from 200 hosts. So if you want to run even faster you can play around with those parameters but keep in mind if you go too aggressive it could trigger a WAF and all of your requests will be blocked. So have this in mind, let's try running Katana the Axiom, as you can see I'm using this module, it's a little bit improved, uh, I've used to this one to extract URLs with parameters, um, also I have added retries, um, the crawl length is pretty much the same. All other options are pretty similar, so let's try to run it. We also want to measure the time, the runtime. So let's try now Katana module and let's save the output to the Katana axiom.txt. As we can see, 20 axiom instances took more than a hour to finish crawling on all of those targets. I was expecting to be 20 times faster, but it went pretty much similar compared to the other results. Uh, there are a couple of reasons for that. First one, but you will never know how much time is needed to crawl one host. So sometimes the blog, e-commerce, documentation websites have thousands or even millions of endpoints. Uh, for that case, to limit the crawl time, I have chosen one hour max time for the hosts 
as you can see for this CT parameter. But I think for Axiom to run more efficiently, you should decrease it to around uh, 15 minutes or even less. Uh, bad thing here is that servers could uh, finish running, but some servers will finish much faster, like in 10 minutes, while others will be running and you will have some idling uh, servers consuming resources and of course that will cost you money. So it's a huge waste of money. For uh, this reason I would prefer running crawlers or MDPS alone without Axiom or leave my computer running while I'm sleeping. And the second and the final reason why that time was like over one hour uh, is that some hosts, some target hosts might be available in United States. For example, my VPS servers are also located in United States. That's why uh, many of those sites were accessible and they crawled much more results. So if you are running from your laptop, I suggest installing some kind of VPN software if you want to run from your uh, own local machine. For example, I use NordVPN since we have pretty nice CLI tool as well. So yeah, it's, it's very convenient. Trust me, I have tried multiple VPS providers and this, is, this one has so many locations that you can switch and its speed is pretty awesome, so keep that in mind. The second crawler is Hackrawler. It's a little bit less configurable, but sometimes the less is more. What I mean, it has enough parameters to not give me ADHD. So let's try running it so using pretty much the same configuration. Uh, as you can see, I will use depth of 5, do not follow redirects, insecure flag, just in case I have some SSL issues, uh, same amount of threads, and also timeout is 1 hour. And of course, I might also want to use time command at the end. The hack roller have finished running, and it's much faster than previous two. It's written in Golang as well, and from the speed perspective, it's very good language to run on. Uh, right now, let's try running with 20 Axiom instances. I will use same parameters as before. Hopefully, some instance won't get stuck at some blog or something. So let's run and see the results. To my surprise, it only took less than 10 minutes. It's the fastest runtime so far, but is this tool used with Axiom collected enough amount of endpoints? Uh, stay to the end, we will see the comparison of each run. The last common line tool to try is GoSpider. It's another tool written in Go language. It should be pretty fast for this case. It has more parameters than the second tool, but I think it lacks the most crucial one. I don't see the max amount of time for a URL parameter. For this reason, I predict it could run a lot of time or even crash. But let's put this tool to the test. We will see how much time it will take to crawl 200 targets. The ghost spider have finished running. It took over two hours. Hopefully it had discovered a lot of endpoints. We will compare the amount of results at the end of this video. I imagine that this tool could have run even more time if we passed more hosts, because there is no limitation on the amount of time to run on single URL. Now let's see how it fast it can be if we implement it using Axiom as well. It's time to try same parameters with Axiom. Fingers crossed it won't take two hours again. Well, this result makes me happy. It took only 23 minutes and 40 seconds to finish its runtime. In this case, using GoSpider with Axiom is 6 times faster with 20 machines. Oh, 
the last crawler we gonna try is the burp uh, spider uh, this is my favorite so far but in order for it to be efficient we have to have pretty damn good uh, computer unfortunately my computer is pretty old but i guess for a simple uh, crawling it will be pretty much okay but before that we need to set the scope as you can see we have those wild cards let's add them to the board um, let's see target scope settings use advanced control and we can use load and try to load those wild cards those will be pretty much okay and right now go to the dashboard new scan crawl and i want to load urls to scan so i guess i will try to cut that to crawl file and use xclip utility with selection and copy for 200 urls it will be pretty much okay let's try to paste it and try to edit the runtime as well maybe 10 threads will be pretty much okay for that amount okay let's try to edit the scam configuration here let's name the crawler um, we will use 5 link depth and have to set some limitations for example i want to be 10 hours let's add unique locations discovered maybe two zeros here login functions i don't want for self-registration here um pretty much other stuff will be as default and try to save it and run it the bur crawler have finished running and as you can see i have also updated the wild cards here i mean the target scope and i filtered out on the target sitemap uh, what i would only want to see in scope items so there is neat trick how you can export then collect the endpoints you can use gap extension as you can see but it does require python and uh, jiton to be installed and it has to be linked as well so if you go back to the target tab and select all those collected endpoints we can send it to the gap we have to wait until it loads but as you can see i have before selected what i only want links alternatively you can also add parameters and words and you have to also specify the output directory which i also have created let's wait for it to finish as well well the get all parameters extension export have finished as you can see there are 23,000 of links found of course you want to filter out by in scope only and as you can see there are a lot of uh, junk results you might want to only include those who has https only so I will hit the Ctrl C and place them into gap.txt file. Place it here using nano. And what I want to do is to filter out as well. So those that have HTTP at least. As you can see, it's not a lot of them, but I suggest when working with warp the best way is just getting to the target target tab and just viewing right here not like using any other uh, third-party tools unless you want to pass uh, for like extra checks that could be pretty good idea but for this case I only use burp while I'm testing manually and using that crawler to run in the background. 
I have filtered out some results manually behind the scenes for better comparison. I had to do this, since some tools give me a bunch of garbage endpoints, or paths with non-200 status code. Also, there were endpoints starting with JavaScript void, email or phone. Well, this might be interesting area to look and check for leaks, but this might not be in the scope for this video. So, I only have collected the unique URLs starting with HTTP keyword. From the collected endpoint standpoint, Katana with Axiom and Headless Mode failed miserably. We have collected less than 5000 results. It was extremely inefficient. I was hoping for better results from project discovery tools. The seventh place was from Burp. It only had less than 10,000 results. Without filtering it, it was about 23,000, but it was still less compared to the sixth place. On the sixth place, we have Katana with Depth First Strategy. This one was pretty decent. Fourth and the fifth place are pretty similar, both uh, with Axiom and without it from the hawk roller tool. Now the top 3 results. Second place goes to Go Spider with Axiom. It almost twice as much compared to the fourth place. And the first place goes to Go Spider on local machine and third place to Katana with Bread First strategy. It seems that this strategy is much better for this target. Let's compare the run times. The last place goes to Burp Suit Crawler. It took over 10 hours as I have specified in the settings. Probably it will never have stopped running if I never specified the limit. Perhaps my computer and the network speed is not good enough, but I think it's not very suitable in the need for speed. 8th place goes to Go Spider. It was running pretty long since I haven't found the limitation for a single URL parameter. The 6th and the 7th place belongs to Katana with both strategies. The interesting thing that with Axiom it only saved less than 20 minutes. It was really a bummer. The hack crawler took less than an hour to run and it was a pretty good option for the runtime. Now the top 3. Hack crawler works really well with Axiom. Katana headless took only 11 minutes, but I think it failed to run properly. And the Ghost Spider with Axiom also worked pretty damn good. Time for the final results. It will be the balance between speed and coverage. The mid tier option is to run either Ghost Spider or Hack crawler locally. You can also try Katana with Breath First strategy. For this target, it was bad to use Katana with other options, especially with Axiom. Also, the Burp Suit Spider was not performing really well. Let me know down in the comments if you have a solution for Burp to improve. Lastly, it was the best either to use Ghost Spider or Hack Roller with Axiom. It's really a good trade-off between speed and coverage. I am still pretty new to this YouTube game, so if you really like my content, please let me know down in the comments. Also, check the description to get some freebies. It was really my pleasure to serve this type of content to you. Stay tuned, since on the next video, we are gonna explore the cool Google hacking techniques. So, have a nice hunt guys.